Imagine doctors telling you you have cancer and only six months to live at the age of 16. How would you respond to that news? And would you accept that prognosis? This high school basketball player saw cancer as his opponent and he was not about to lose. Like most kids, I had dreams of playing professional basketball. But after I lost my left arm, I had to take a different route. When I was 14 years old, I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma in my left arm. I did very aggressive chemotherapy for nine months straight. About a year later, the cancer came back and there was no choice but to amputate my left arm. I was devastated. I mean, I was only 15, but unfortunately, that was not the scariest part at all. A few months later, I found out that the cancer spread again to my lungs. The doctors only gave me six months to live, but that was 10 years ago. I remember the first time playing basketball with one hand. I was in my neighbor's backyard, and I actually made my first shot. I told myself I want to be the first amputee in professional basketball. I started playing every day. I started working out. I started treating basketball like a full-time job. And since then, I've been a manager of a lot of teams. I play on an all-amputee basketball team. If anybody can learn anything from hearing my story, I want them to know that all you have to do is listen to yourself. And that's the right answer every time. 10 years after that terminal diagnosis, Troy is still alive, and he's here to share his remarkable story with all of us. Troy, come on out here, my friend. And I want everyone to realize the magnitude of Troy's journey because you still have nine tumors throughout your body, but they're stable. Correct, yes. Um, I don't do any treatments. All I do is I go to the hospital every six months to get CT and bone scan, wow. and that's all. It's hard not to believe that some of your positive spirit is what's allowing your health to maintain itself and keeping this cancer at bay. Because, I mean, I, John, I watched John's face while he was watching you tell your story and play basketball. Yeah. And it's I'm amazing. sure you admire him, but I think he admires you more. I really do. I, the fact that you can bench press with one arm. <laughs> no. Right. Right. <laughs> You it's, do things people can't right. do with two arms. People, right, he's doing things because he was like, oh, I'm not going to let anything stop me. And then I told him I was going to play him, and he, I'm just going to push him left. And he was like, no, I can go left, so I can't. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I got to tell you, I always, I always get annoyed, quite frankly, annoyed by people who tell me sports are worthless. Oh. I, it it I, drives me crazy because sports provide so much motivation for so many different reasons. For you, basketball, that was your treatment. Mm -hmm. Correct, yes. I've always said basketball is my chemotherapy. You know, yeah. it's just being out, you know, in the sun or in the gym. You know, when you make that basket, you're like, I did that. You know, yes. and that's comforting for me, you know, and knowing that I could do this, you know, with everything that I've been through. It's just the most rewarding feeling that I could ask for. And Troy, you are so inspirational in so many ways. How has it been meeting other people and talking about your experience? It's been great, you know. I mean, I've been in multiple gyms and, you know, people, they'll take it easy on me at first and then when they see, you know, <laughs> <laughs> when they see I could, you know, play a little bit, you know, they, you know, they get interested. They want to know what happened. Was I born this way? A lot of people mm -hmm. think I was in the military. And so when I tell them I have cancer, they're just, they're blown away. So being able to be able to just share my story with, you know, whoever I can come across, it's just really rewarding to see that, you know, inspiring a lot of people, even just one person, I feel like, you know, I'm doing my job, you know, just by living how I want to live.